Hello, I finally got a uh, supplemental hot water system on my home. Uh, this is not my vacation property, but this is where I spend the winters. So I got uh, two uh, 280 watt uh, panels. So uh, 520, 560, I'm not sure what they are, but they're 30 volt grid tie panels. And uh, as you can see, they're in the shade right now. It used to, the panels used to actually uh, lay up here, and uh, you know it got a lot more shade. But the big problem was this tree. I've cut off two branches, and there used to be uh, a pathway where the squirrels could go from this tree to that tree. And as you can see, it's 2 o'clock, and uh, this tree is now blocking uh, directly the panels. Uh, this is a nice clear day, and uh, this is the kind of day that you would have uh, best results with the direct connect, because there's no clouds in the sky. But so, uh, uh, this tree right here, this is about due south. And so, I'm really inhibited in the morning. But uh, we'll go and see what's happening right now. And here's my controller. Uh, this is uh, connected to my water tank over here. Uh, this pipe coming off, this goes to an external heat pump water heater. And so this is the old electric tank. There's the heating element down here I use. I put a 2000 watt 120 volt element and that'll give me about 500 watts at 60 volts so that little wire comes up here and uh, this little orange wire goes out to the solar panels and as you can see right now we're at uh, 58.7 volts and we're putting out 22 watts now that's at 205 so uh, you know shading kills everything and I got this little switch. This is at PowerPoint. This is a direct connect. And, uh, well, it's barely even registering. I guess we're about 6 volts, 5 watts, or something like that. But, uh, as you can see, it's uh, a lot more power. Uh, as I said, this was kind of an ideal day for. Uh, uh, doing a direct connect because there's no clouds if there's a slight overcast or clouds or anything else like that that's about the performance you get all day you know in the very low numbers uh, here's some of the results at uh, 11 a.m. I got uh, 331 watts direct was 274 at noon so that's a totally clear skies three and you know no obstructions 353 watts and uh, 330 watts for direct connect and you know just about an hour later we're down to 46.7 watts and look at this the direct is uh, 53.4 if you have a very line direct shading on a, on a, a single panel uh, you can get into bypassing and you can actually get a little more power at direct sometimes but just 10 minutes later we're at 42.5 watts and uh, the direct connect is uh, 23.4 watts let's face it if you have shading you're not going to be very successful with water heating but uh, you know always have warning labels shock hazard huh. I told you you'd be shocked. This is all it is. You know, you have a stack of capacitors to uh, store the charge uh, when the heater is off. This is a little uh, board you can get off eBay. It's like six, six fifty, something like that, shipped. And of course, you have to modify it because it's just an inverter board. But what you can do is. Uh, put a TL431 on the board and that senses voltage 
and uh, when the voltage drops below a certain level it shuts off and basically uh, you're turning the heater on and off uh, you know every one hundredth of a second so it's on off on off and uh, it averages out so then the only thing else you have is this uh, power meter they, uh, it's it's a it's a pretty nice power meter. I, I like them. Uh, I wish it would give me uh, peak amps for the day, but this will totalize. So so far this day has been uh, 935 watts. So we'll probably be up around a, a kilowatt. You know that's not great, but it's winter and I might cut down more of that tree. Here you can adjust the voltage. So we could go down to 56 volts, or we can go up to uh, uh, 60 volts. And you can see over that wide range, the power doesn't really change that much. And that's why, you know, putting in a, a single power point voltage throughout the day, you can adjust this seasonally. Uh, it works good enough. And this whole system, you know, that board, the capacitors, and that controller, that uh, uh, meter is about, you know, somewhere around 40 bucks. So uh, maybe tomorrow we'll get a little more clouds and uh, I'll uh, post some more findings. But uh, this is the system. It's not much. It's uh, something that uh, you can build if you set your mind to it. So, uh, Later on, I'll uh, you know post more figures of what uh, I get weekly, and also uh, I'll be able to get. I have some good studies on this from last year about what the heat pump water heater averages, and we'll see how much that drops by using uh, this supplemental heating. So, thanks for watching.